Good afternoon, guys. I'm fixing to mix up some uh, some fruit. This is one can of apricots. I'm going to uh, let it sit. It's a 30-day friendship fruit cake, and uh, I'm going to reserve the juice to use for other things. But I've been wanting to make this. So there's our one can of apricots, one can of peaches, all the fruits from uh, the food bank. And uh, the kids gifted me a good brandy. This one is from uh, South Africa, I believe. I'm not sure what this bottle costs, but I know it's expensive, but they have one that's like $150. But I'd been wanting to make this cake, and I told my daughter-in-law, I said, well, I'll have to, have to save up, oh, save up, I almost poured that in there with the juice, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, I'm using fruit cocktail because I don't have a jar of just cherries, so... And look at there, usually these are full of cherries and there's two. Huh. Just my luck. You're supposed to use a jar of cherries drained, if you want to. You can use fruit cocktail. I've seen fruit cocktail used before. And a can of pineapple tidbits. And y'all see, I'm just draining all this juice in the same container because I'm going to use that for my smoothies or I'm sure I'll come up with something well to use that for I can put it in the little popsicle holders and make popsicles with it I have the little plastic popsicle thing. Okay, there's our juice. We're not throwing that out. We're going to use that for something. Oh, I know one thing I use it for. Uh, pancakes or muffins. If you make pancakes or muffins. Okay, we have one and a fourth cup of sugar. going to put one and a fourth cups of brandy and this is called a friendship fruit cake starter and this has to sit on the counter for 30 days you stir it every day or so for 30 days and then you take out two cups of the starter for your fruit cake and then you share the rest of the starter or you put it in your freezer measure out your two cups and put it in your freezer and use it over ice cream um, put it over your pancakes make jelly can make jelly out of it at that point uh, with your pectin but when I was growing up it was very common to see two gallons of this around the holidays with the cloth top on it sitting on the counter at your great great aunt's house uh, but they would start this around like October early part of November to have it ready to make fruit cakes for the holidays but uh, I was talking about I was hungry for one of them my daughter-in-law don't like fruit cake and I said well you've never eat one of these and she said no never even heard of it which I'm surprised because her grandma and her mom's a very good cook and I'm surprised 
that they didn't make them. So anyway, this is just our starter. It'll be at least 30 days from today before I can even make a cake. So don't look for that video anytime soon. I'm just stirring this sugar up, making sure it's all incorporated with this fruit. Like I said, I will come by and stir this once through the day or every couple of days, the whole 30 days that it's sitting on the counter. It will be sitting right here or right over there where I see it every day uh, with my other fermented uh, drinks or my kombucha to remind me to stir it. And y'all, ooh, this tastes good. And just remember, now if you eat the fruit out of here, it has the alcohol. When you bake it, the alcohol cooks out. But y'all see how much juice is in there? We drained all the juice out since I've been stirring it up. It's pulling the juice that was in the fruit out into that bourbon, I mean to that brandy. Ooh, it smells, it smells good, y'all. Ooh, smell all that fruit. And I might, if I go to the store, get some cherries, a small jar of cherries and add some cherries to it. But it's a beautiful cake when you slice it with all that fruit in it. Tastes really good. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Know your love. Jesus loves you more. Y'all make you some 30-day or old-fashioned friendship fruitcake starter. And I have a lot of recipes. I've told y'all the last few videos or so that I want to share with y'all. This is one of them. So we'll see you in the next video.